I'd like to welcome everyone to the Village of Northfield regular council meeting, March 14th, 2018. Can we all rise for the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Ready, yes. Here. Mr. Magistrelli? Here. Mr. Scher? Here. Ms. Domzalski? Here. Mr. Hips? Here. Ms. Nowak? Here. Mr. Wojtysz? Here. Mr. Bryan? Here. Mr. Wasowski? Here. Chief Zolgus? I'm here for the swearing in. Chief Fuss? I'm here. Harold will be at the next meeting, and I'm present. Okay, we got to get the approval of the minutes. We have two sets of minutes, one for February 14th and one for February 28th. So moved. Motion to approve the minutes of February 14th by Ms. Nowak is her second. Second. Seconded by Mr. Magistrelli. Any questions, comments, or amendments? Hearing none, all in favor of approval? Yes. 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 All opposed? The February 14th minutes are approved, and is there a motion to approve the minutes of the February 28th, 2018 regular council meeting? So moved. Second. Motion by, I believe, Mr. Hips. Yes. And seconded by Ms. Nowak. Any comments, questions, amendments? Hearing none, all in favor of approval? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. February 28th minutes are approved. At this time, is there anyone in the audience that would like to address us at this time? No one? Okay. Moving on. Um, we're going to start with the police department tonight. Uh, we have some swearing-ins we're going to do tonight. John? All right. Do we want to proceed with the legislation? It's okay. Um, Mr. Magistrelli, do we have permission to uh, vote on the ordinances for Officer Gramlich and Officer Sudo at the same time? Yes, Mr. Bryan. Okay. On the agenda, we have 2018-20, uh, an emergency resolution confirming the Mayor, Director of Public Safety's appointment of Paul Gramlich as a full-time police officer. And we also have 2018-21, an emergency resolution confirming the mayor, director of public safety's appointment of Sudo as a village of Northfield police dog. Um, is there a motion to suspend the three reading rule? I'll make the motion. Second. Motion by, motion by Mr. Voitish, seconded by Mr. Hips. All in favor? Yes. 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 All opposed? Motion for passage. Second. second. Motion to pass by Mr. Voitish, seconded by Ms. Nowak. Any discussion? All in favor of passage? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. The appointments are effective. Chief Zolgus. Pseudo is K9 Pseudo, 
does solemnly swear that he will support the Constitution and statutes of the United States of America, the Constitution and the laws of the state of Ohio, and the charter and ordinances of the village of Norfield, county of Summit, Ohio, and that he will faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge his duties as a full-time officer for the village of Norfield during his continuance in said position according to the best of his ability and understanding. Mr. Magistrelli, um, can we vote on all four appointments? Yes, sir, Mr. Barry. Okay. We have 2018-16, an emergency resolution confirming the Mayor Director of Public Safety's appointment of Brian Bialik as a part-time firefighter. 2018-17, an emergency resolution confirming the Mayor Director of Public Safety's appointment of Chad Collins as a part-time firefighter. 2018-18, an emergency resolution confirming the Mayor Director of Public Safety's appointment of John Schuster as a part-time firefighter. And 2018-19, an emergency resolution confirming the Mayor Director of Public Safety's appointment of Nicholas Wells as a part-time firefighter. Is there a motion to suspend the three reading rule? So moved. Second. Motion by Ms. Domsalski, seconded by Mr. Voitish. All in favor? Yes. 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 All opposed? Motion for passage. Motion to pass by Mr. Voitish is second. second. Seconded by Mr. Magistrelli. Any discussion? All in favor of passage? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. The resolutions are adopted. Chief Buss. Thank you, Council Mayor. Um, before we swear him in, I just want to give a little intro to each one of the gentlemen that is getting hired tonight so you guys can know a little bit about them. Um, we didn't, we hired two people last year for the racetrack, no general staffing for. The station itself um, our, our staffing has been pretty well overall uh, we did have some good candidates that have come through at the end of last year and the beginning of this year um, so since they presented themselves finding good people was always hard um, so i'm taking advantage of it we had a lot of applications come through that wouldn't pass a background check or you know you look into them and you know you just you decide to pass them but we got a couple gentlemen today that i think will be a good fit and, and help our village um, the first is chad collins Chad, if you don't mind standing real quick. Um, Chad's an EMT firefighter and he's working to complete his paramedic training. Um, Chad has served our country for the past six years from, two, or he's still serving it, from 2009 to 2015. He was in the United States Army as a military police officer. He's uh, still currently part of the Ohio National Guard and goes to regular drills. Um, his family lives uh, right over in Valley View and you have two kids. So they got two kids over there. I believe you said your wife, too, is in the military. Um, so a good, a good military family. I'm always happy to help people who serve our community and, and our country. Um, he's a manager at his full-time job in security and oversees employees, and I, I think he'll be an excellent fit for our community and our department. Thank you, Chad. Um, next on the list here, I got Nicholas Wells. Uh, Nick, he uh, worked at Cleveland EMS, and he's actually a full-time Cleveland firefighter now. Uh, he lives with his family in Parma Heights. And he, he's looking to continue working, part-time work, to you know, bring a little bit more money home for his family. But he came very highly recommended from several different members of our department, from Cleveland EMS and some of the people I know at Cleveland Fires were very highly of him. So I think he'll be an excellent addition. Brian, um, Brian Balak, he is a, also married, lives right over in Sagmore Hills, um, has one child. He went to Nordonia High School, a Nordonia graduate. Um, happy that he wants to continue his career here. He works full-time at South Point ER, where he's a paramedic in the emergency room. Um, so I'm eager to bring him on. He also attended school in Lee, and so a lot of ties to our community here. And last but not least is John Schuster. Um, he's a paramedic that works up at the ER at Ahuja right now with several of our guys. Again, can fairly highly recommend it. Um, he is not firefighter trained, but he's uh, looking to work up at Northfield Park Racetrack with our standby ambulance um, and continue his career. He lives over in Parma, and we're looking forward to bringing him on too. So that's a quick overview of the four guys we're bringing on tonight. I don't know if they have anything more they want to say. Probably not. <laughs> Never do. Um, 
But with that being said, if you guys want to come forward, and we'll do the oath of office. They're going to uh, go back to the fire station and have a small reception for them. Um, so I don't know if you can excuse them now. You mean they don't want to stay for the rest of the meeting? Um, they can stay if they would like to watch civic government in progress, <laughs> or they can go have cake. It's always <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, continuing on. Reports of municipal officers, the mayor at this time does not have anything. Moving on to the finance director, Ms. San Gracia. Are there any remarks? Um, I uh, just wanted to know if everybody would be available next Wednesday, 7 o'clock, to discuss the final proposal. There will be no exhibit this evening. Didn't want to uh, put anything together. Gary says he's not available. I will not be able to make it on Wednesday. We only have one more meeting before we, we have to pass. So, how, how long do you think you would need? 
because I can see if I can get some uh, comp time to get off of work. That's one of my work days. I got to think we're going to need an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Can I let you know tomorrow morning? Yes. Would that be okay? Yes. I mean, just set it up for that, and if I'll let you Didn't know. Didn't even know we thought other. Wednesday would be a nice day because it's we're used to coming in on Wednesday anyways. It'll be sort of late, 7 o'clock, because of the way that Mr. Hips and I are working now. So it's uh, Mr. Hips, yes, he's traveling now. <laughs> we'll be waiting for Mr. Hips now, not, not just me. So, um, yeah, w w let us know. I'll let you know first thing in the morning. Thank you, Karen. And that's all I have. Thank you. Moving on to Mr. Wasowski, the engineer. The Ledge Road uh, Reconstruction Phase Two construction contract. Uh, we bid the job, advertised on February 2nd. The bid opening was held at 3 p.m. on Monday, March 12th at the Village Hall. We received eight bids for the project, ranging from a low of $1,692,863.85 to a high of $2,238,561. The low bidder was Katz Construction Incorporated. Um, I checked uh, six references he gave. They all gave very good references on, on the company. Uh, he has done some subcontracting work out in uh, Brook Park where we're engineers too. And uh, he did a, a fine job. Everybody else I talked to gave good references on him. So I recommend uh, hiring Katz Construction Inc for uh, a fee not to exceed one million six hundred ninety two thousand eight hundred sixty three dollars and eighty five cents and there's legislation on tonight to do that uh, one thing we have um, we're under budget on this contract so far we have about a million dollars worth of contingency uh, not a million hundred thousand dollars worth of contingency money uh, we can still uh, spend and still be underneath the, the contract amount. So, uh, Ledge Road Reconstruction Phase 2 MBE Material Supplies Contract. As part of this contract um, agreement with the state, we had to agree to um, having an MBE firm uh, supply some materials on the job, and we picked the mantle frames and castings and catch basin frames and grates. Um, I sent out eight letters on February 18th to MBE companies that are certified by the Ohio Department of Administrative Services. We got three bids back. Uh, we opened them up March 12th at 3.25 p.m. Um, the, my estimate for the job was um, 13200 I believe. Uh, the low bidder was $11,808.78. The high bidder was $15,867.69. Uh, Rath Builder Supply Inc. was a low bidder. We have done work on them on several projects. They supplied uh, materials for us over the years. Uh, I recommend uh, awarding the contract to Rath Builder Supply for a fee of not to exceed $11,808.78. The legislation's on the agenda tonight for that. State Route 8 uh, traffic counts at Houghton Road, Maple Avenue, Fire Station Drive, and Ledge Road. All the counts were taken. They're 12 hour counts. Um, we're currently tabulating the counts now and completing the uh, traffic signal warrants for uh, submission to, uh, to ODOT. Houghton Road Reconstruction and 3SR8 Traffic Signal Project. I'm currently working on completing the final plans for that project for bidding in January of 2019. Uh, State Route 8 and Ledge Road Traffic Signal Upgrading Project. Currently working on those final plans and bidding documents uh, for bidding in May of 2018. Uh, one thing I want to tell you about the traffic signals uh, all of our poles up here were supplied by Union Metal. In fact, over 40-some years I've been uh, specifying poles. I, I, I can't recall of any pole I ever specified that wasn't uh, supplied by Union Metal. Union Metal was just sold a couple weeks ago to another lighting company, another pole manufacturing company. 
and not to increase the capacity of the other company is basically to eliminate a competitor. So the other company is going to be making all the pulls at their own factory and hopefully they'll do the same union metal designs. But if they don't, they'll be close. So uh, just be aware, we're, we're not going to get union metal poles. I've been told there's a 25 week wait time for those poles. Last time we got the poles, we got them within a month because they had them in stock at uh, Pathmaster, who was a distributor in the area for Union Metal. Pathmaster had them in their stockyard. Uh, these will have to be ordered, and it's 25 weeks to get them. Um, Summit County Stormwater Permit Requirements. The NPDES small MS4 annual reports were completed uh, and will be delivered to Summit County Soil and Water Conservation Service uh, at tomorrow's um, bi-monthly meeting. The annual stormwater theme meeting with Summit Soil and Water and Sagamore Hills was held on March 6th. Jason Walters, Chris Wall, and myself attended the meeting representing Northville Village. So we're moving forward. And that's my report. Thank you, Rich. Moving on to the Law Director, Mr. Bryan. I have no report this evening, Mayor. Moving on to department heads. Police Chief John Zoldis will give his report the next regular scheduled council meeting. Moving on to Fire Chief Jason Buss. Good evening, Council Mayor. I have no further report other than uh, thank you for having the swearing-ins this evening. Moving on to Service and Building Superintendent Jason Walters. He will be at our next regular scheduled council meeting. Reports of the Municipal Boards and Commissions. Mr. Hips of Planning Commission. Nothing to report this evening. Uh, Recreation Board. Um, everything is set for this Sunday. Um, the Easter Bunny will be going around in the fire truck from 10 to noon on the west side and 1 to 3 on the east side. So, um, and then 5 p.m., precisely 5 p.m., we'll start the Easter egg hunt at Smith Park. And there will also be uh, pictures with the Easter Bunny there, and there'll be some uh, farm animals there also for the kids. Okay, moving on to the re uh, reports of the standing committees. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Recreation Board, I need to schedule uh, for next month a meeting. Um, we've been, what, what? April 5th at 6.30 here at Council Chambers. Sorry about that. And then we're going to move on to the reports of the standing committees. Mr. Magistrelli of Finance. Uh, no report today, Mr. Mayor, but our, our next finance meeting will be uh, 328 on Wednesday before the next meeting at 630. Thank you. Okay. Mrs. Domzalski of Roads and Public Works. No report this evening, Mayor. Mr. Sheriff of Health and Welfare. I have no report today, sir. Mr. Wojtysz of Wages and Working Conditions. No report, Mayor. Mrs. Nowak of Fire and Safety. Uh, no report, Mayor, but I spoke to the Chief just um, before the meeting. Which we're, one? I mean, I'm Chief Zoldis, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be bringing on a part-timer, and he's going to be getting with her to find out what hours are good for us to meet her ahead of time. And once I get that information, I'll pass it on to Council. Okay, thank you so much. Does that complete your report? Yes, it does. I'm sorry. Okay. Moving on to Mr. Hips, Building and Grounds. No report this evening. Legislation, Brad. Thank you, Mayor. The next legislation on the agenda is 2018-22, an emergency resolution setting forth the appropriations for the fiscal year 2018 and submitting the same to the county fiscal officer on first reading. It's my understanding we want to leave this on first reading and it will be on second reading at the meeting on the 28th. And just a reminder, the budget needs to be passed by at that point so that it can get down to the county fiscal officer. On 2018-23, an emergency resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Simple Recycling for the collection of soft recyclables in the residential rubbish hauling service area on first reading. What's council's pleasure this evening? I'd like to suspend the three reading rule. Second. 
Motion by Ms. Domsalski to suspend the three reading rules, seconded by Mr. Hips. Um, all in favor of the motion? Yes. 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 All opposed? Motion for passage. Second. Motion to pass made by Mr. Hips, seconded by Ms. Domsalski. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of passage? Yes. 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 All opposed? Next is 2018-24, an emergency resolution declaring the month of April 2018 as Autism Awareness Month in the Village of Northfield. I'd like to make a motion to skip the three readings. Second. Um, and motion by Mr. Wojcic to suspend the three reading rules, seconded by Mr. Magistrelli. All in favor? Yes. yes. All opposed? I'd like to make a motion for passage. Second. Motion to pass by Mr. Voiters, seconded by Mr. Hips. All in favor of passage? Yes. Yes. All opposed? Okay, and just to let everyone know, there's signature lines for everyone to sign that piece of legislation. So we will send that around uh, right at the end of the meeting for everyone to sign. Um, next is 2018-25, an emergency resolution authorizing Euthenics, Inc. to complete the construction, administration, and general field inspection for the Ledge Road Reconstruction Phase 2 project. Motion to suspend the three readings. Second. Motion to suspend the three reading rule by Mr. Hips, seconded by Ms. Domsalski. All in favor? Yes. 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 All opposed? Is there a motion to pass? Move for passage. Second. Motion by Mr. Hips to pass, seconded by um, Ms. Nowak. Any discussion? All in favor of passage? Yes. 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 All opposed? Next is 2018-26, an emergency resolution accepting the bid of Katz Construction, Inc. for the Ledge Road Reconstruction Phase 2 project. Is there a motion to suspend the three reading? So moved. Motion Second. by Mr. Hips, seconded by Ms. Nowak. All in favor? Yes. 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 All opposed? Is there a motion, motion to pass? pass? Second. Motion by Ms. Nowak, seconded by Mr. Hips. Any discussion? All in favor of passage? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. Next is 2018-27, an emergency resolution accepting the bid of Wrath Builder Supply, Inc. for the minority business enterprise supplying of manhole frames and covers and catch basin grates for the Ledge Road Reconstruction Phase 2 project. Is there a motion to suspend the three readings? Make the motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Motion by Mr. Wojcic to suspend, seconded by Mr. Hips. All in favor? Yes. 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 All opposed? Motion for passage. Motion to pass by Mr. Wojcic, seconded by second. Ms. Domzalski. Any discussion? All in favor of passage? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. The resolution is adopted. At this time, is there any old business, new business, or announcements? Mayor, I do have two things, if I may. Mr. Voitosh. Um, the first thing, um, and most importantly, um, I'd like to thank everyone for the support for the uh, month of April for Autism Awareness. I really appreciate that. And uh, secondly, with the uh, next week coming will be the start of the uh, McDonald's renovation. Uh, they have decided to keep the lobby open and do the drive through first, which is the exact opposite of the plan that they had told us. So. Just so you guys know. Thank you. I believe that information is also on our Facebook and our website. Do I hear an adjournment? I'd like to make a motion for adjournment. Motion to adjourn made by Ms. Domzalski is our second. 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 Seconded by Ms. Nowak. All in favor? Yes. yes. All opposed? Adjourned at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs>